guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl queen leticia and i'm back with another video yes guys i hope you missed me because i missed you too so today i'll be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys my makeup has improved so much and i just want to also document it and also see like where how was i doing how am i now how will i do it because i'll still film a makeup tutorial but and i feel like my makeup has become better again for me right now i'm at the stage where i can go out with my makeup anywhere and i just wanted to tell you don't have to have everything but you at least have the basics and at least have good makeup i list everything that i am using not list on the description box but i'll be showing you and yes i'm getting new makeup soon i'm so excited so 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 excited and when i get them i'll film another one but like not too soon not not too soon but yeah anyways guys i hope you enjoy this video in case you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe if you like this video please like it please share it to your friends please comment please tell me where i need to improve what i need to do what i need to buy more yes i'm open to positive criticism is that Pro positive critics yeah You get me, yeah? Mm, so let's get right into the video. So how I prep my skin, I just washed my face and this is what I applied. This is what I apply whether I do makeup or not. You see, it's actually, it's actually finished. And here it's written oil-free moisturizer. It works well for me, so I really don't know for other people. That's what I use every day. But when it comes to, do, to doing my makeup and just maybe running errands, also this I use but not every day. I love it when I do my makeup when, I use it, when I'm using my foundation. So this is what I use. I don't know where the lid is. This one. This one. I think all of you can see. Nivea um, Q10 Power Anti Recall and Firming Brush. It's a day cream. Yes, it's a day cream. I so I use the first thing I'll do is start with my brows, and what I use for my eyebrows is this eye pencil Davis number thirty, number three. Sorry, number three. Wait, this is how it looks. Yes. So if you want good brows, make sure your pencil is sharp, not blunt. Guys, another tip when you're drawing your eyebrows, brush them upwards. I don't think this is how I do mine. I'll just show this, then this one I'll kind of fast forward. So you see this one. I'll just I'm um, um my mirror is here, so yeah, but I'll try and come closer like zoom in. So yeah. So what I do is I just like a very faint line. Then the next thing, shade it and use light, light strokes, sorry, light strokes to make them a bit, not a bit, but like to make them natural. Just use light strokes. I go. The next thing is to 
define our pros. How do people achieve that? They just conceal, literally. They just conceal or use foundation. Mine, I'll use a concealer, then I'll also use a foundation. So, this is a brush I'm using, a, a flat angle brush. Is that how they call it? This is how it looks. Yeah. And then, this is the concealer I, I use. I use the Illegal Pro Concealer. But I had TikTok girl saying, it's not good. And you know what? I don't know. I don't know if I agree with them. Because to me, it has been good. But... I'm definitely buying okay in my in my next makeup with Nini. I'm having another concealer just because if TikTok girl is said it and because their makeup looks good and they don't use the elegant pro concealer. But if that's what you have, babe, just use it. Mm -hmm. Because to me it's it's good as long as you buy an a good one, an authentic one. So this is what I do. Then I always bring this concealer down because this is how I prep my eyes for me. This is how I prep my eyes with my concealer. Cause, But if you have like an eyeshadow primer, I think it's called that, you can prep it with an eyeshadow primer. For me, I don't think I'll ever buy an eyeshadow primer because to me, a good concealer works good. Blend. I use a sponge and this is wet it's not dripping wet can you see but it's wet and yeah the next thing i do is i go in with my foundation on top of here and with my foundation and this is the foundation i use maybelline um super stay this is super stay maybelline in the in the shade 66 hazelnut yes this is what I use I just pump it on my and then let me tell you guys one thing about Maybelline it dries so fast it dries so fast that's why it needs an oily surface but if your skin is dry and you're using me I'm super stay sorry because fit me is also Maybelline and that is good for a dry skin that's what I can say but super stay and your skin is dry babe no no go for fit me or another one so I'll go on top of my brows same thing I've done here I always go so fast like I love blending it so fast because my problem is blending on my forehead I feel like that's one of my biggest makeup problem I do not know how to blend on my forehead like it's kind of hard for me and you see how it's blending so good because it's my shade so yeah and also because of the foundation itself it dries so quick so when it dries it's kind of hard to blend it and I just use my foundation brush but that one would get it later as I'm going with a nude look and I'm using this Hudali um, gorgeous me eyeshadow can you see it yes that one this one I won't even tell you I don't know about it but it's so good 
it's so good and these are the shadows that I'll be using this one my friend was traveling and I was like I saw it and I was like I need it I want it so <laughs> I took it and it has been working good for me except if I get a better one I'll definitely buy but I don't have a complaint with this so what I'll do because I want like a nude eye but something cute I'll start with this shade this one they haven't been named so yes this one is blend it going up because I love that up effect so just blend blend and it's just like tap 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 and then do the same thing to the other eye brush it's like flat angle brush I don't know I don't know what this brush is called but this is a brush I've used and for this other one I've used this one guys for my brushes I just bought in Dugoa and it's Kitambo and I started makeup and yeah and the works color I'll be going with is this one black to give it smoky I just want it to be seen but the smoky also to be there I can and my next thing I'll do is mascara and this is what I used sorry this is what I use it's called Shuda Shuda Beauty something like that this one I just bought it in school premises we had like I always put my mascara on because my lashes is what I put as the last thing and I love when my mascara dries so fast. This one, one thing I'll tell you about this mascara, it doesn't dry down so fast. That's how I always put it when I'm done with my eyes. Then I don't touch my eyes because until I finish my makeup. But it also doesn't take too much time drying. So Next thing, foundation. And as I told you, I use... Super stay Maybelline in the in the shade 66 hazelnut kindly this foundation use it when your skin is oily honestly and when you decide you use this part like um guys I'll just remember the other night so me I just go straight to my face and a little goes uh, a long way babes then i'll use this foundation brush i bought it from the boys it works so good for me i don't have a problem with it honestly i can't So guys, the next thing I'm going to be using is my concealer. I'm going to be concealing my the parts that I want them to be seen. So I'm using this Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Phone. If I'm not wrong. Yes, it's Phone. Phone.
let it sit just let it sit yeah i wanted to show you guys something i told you i love when my eyeshadow is like going up you see why some people use um tape it's because they want that effect so me i don't like using tape but i use i just take my concealer a bit then i just I'm gonna be going with my sponge and I'll just oh by the way guys people um, leave the concealer to sit for it to give full coverage Next, I'm going to be going with my other concealer, Fit Me, still from Maybelline. And guys, let me tell you, this concealer is too light, but I like it because it does the job that I want it to do, which is lightening. I love um, a kind of bright under eye. Kitambo, I was doing it too much, but I feel like now I'm at the stage where I can control it. So I just put Kitogo. just like that then I also like it when here it's And then now this one i let it settle guys the problem with white nails wait i need to apply oil or something anyways the, this is the problem with white nails that are becoming discolored now i let it like sit for a while then let me tell you guys now the next process i'll do is i will contour just my nose and i don't have a contour because I don't know so I use this I use this um, super stay powder foundation to contour this is how it looks super stay powder foundation I use it to contour my the places that I want to contour and this is the angle the yeah this is the brush that I use just take Okay, I don't have any. Then I always do from here. It's literally the same shade as mine. So I don't know if you guys can notice, but also I was checking a certain person who was doing and she said don't be taking it till yeah because sometimes it looks crazy and also when you contour like at the end of the nose it makes your nose look bigger not smaller and the reason for contouring the nose it's always to like you know make it look snatched so if it's smaller it's fine but I just contouring to make it snatched I might over
overdo it but to me even actually when i even overdo con contouring my nose it even looks better so just be careful know the limit and yeah then i always like going here but i don't know if you guys will see i don't also do too much because it's literally my shade I just go like something darker but it's still coming in my next with my next makeup video I don't know when it will be because I need to learn my products and to, look, and to do better than what I'm doing right now that's when I'll do a tutorial but mm. then I also go here but here I just do it to like Because I see people doing it. So. Yeah. Guys, I think the concealer has sat for a while, so let's do it. So this is the powder that I use to set my face, but I don't like it at all. I feel like, you know, maybe it's me who doesn't know how to set, but I still have another powder coming in soon. And I'm, I don't know how to set, honestly, even without this powder, I don't know how to set. But a good friend of mine told me it's better to not set. There's a powder she told me to buy. Not a setting powder. Um, yeah, even there's also another. Also, I'll be using this brush for to like for the powder. So for the powder, people put it to, you know, a concealer breaks. If that's the best word I can use, so you have to set that concealer. Otherwise, it it kind of leaves. Um, yeah, it kind of breaks that's the best one I can use and as you can see I'm not setting um, baking yeah. so just go everywhere that you've used your concealer and whether you bake whether you set Actually, my first ever eyeshadow this is what I use so I have a blush in the eyeshadow this one but I don't know I'm not sure if I like it also sometimes I can go without blush because I tend to go to I, I tend to use sometimes too much of it that it's it kind of looks crazy so yeah the brush that I'm using a buff, I think it's a buffing brush. Yes. So, guys, prepare for my most favorite part, which is my lips. Also, for the eye um, eyelashes, I apply off camera because I still have a problem of applying it. So, yeah. So, for my lips, take any any wet wipe, whatever you can to clean your lips. Let me show you i love big lips and what you're about to see is big lips so you see there's like makeup here around my lips and also the lip balm that i have
that's it then i go in with my eye pencil if you have a lip pencil um that's the better going with my eye pencil still davis number three one that i showed you the same one then i do this and like draw on go with gloss I bought it in quick matte the one in love and tone there's like a beauty shop there but I think you can get it in town anywhere and it's not sticky I know girls us we hate sticky lip gloss I don't know who loves sticky lip gloss but me mm -mm. then I just uh, My last process for the lips, last, last, last. Now to just make them big, 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 bigger. Cause I don't like any, you know. Hey guys, I am done with my with my makeup now. I went to put my eyelashes off camera because I still don't know how to uh, to put my lashes um, perfectly yet. But when I know, I'll definitely give you guys a tutorial. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like, you share, Sergi, and make sure you comment. Also comment how I've done my makeup out of 10, what I should improve and what I should maybe remove from my makeup um, this process. Also the last thing I did while I was applying, while I was putting my lashes on is setting spray. Always finish with a setting spray guys. That will enable your makeup to last if you're going out at night. Yes, it will just keep the makeup in place. I use the Lasting Fix by Maybelline. I'm trying to look for you. I don't know, guys, but I use the Lasting Fix by Maybelline. It's purple in color, like outside. So, yes, this is. Let me come. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back again with more videos. Suggest so what you'd want me to do more, less. And yes, enjoy your day or night. Bye guys.